Hey, it's Isabel, and it's the morning before my appointment. Um, I think we're about to leave in like a couple minutes. And so right now, for the time that I have to spend, I'm just finishing shooting things. Okay, we are leaving the house now. So I will record more whenever we're closer. Okay, we are almost there, right? Yeah, in traffic. Yeah, traffic. All right, right now we're trying to find parking and there's like no parking spots. We found a parking spot, so we're getting ready to walk inside. I don't have a mask. I don't know. Just got in the room and we're about to take x-rays. Okay, I'm in the waiting room and I almost finished Stranger Things and it's getting crazy. But we've been waiting in this room for a while, so. Okay, I just got x-rays and they're about to come in and talk to me, so. I'm not wearing any makeup. The stable appearance of your scoliosis coming out of the brace, which is awesome. That's what we want to see. Again, we don't see improvements with bracing. We just want to make sure it stays stable and that we don't have any bracing. Um, actually, the last time you were taking the other thing, I did see one last one. Let's see, saw you. Um, yeah. I think that was my last Huh? So does that mean it's getting closer closer to wearing it just at night, you mean? Let me, I'll show you the hand x-ray. That's kind of what we look at first today. Overall, we have very stable appearance of your x-rays, which is great. That looks like you can show. Yeah. <laughs> to just discontinuing the brace just okay. depending on your follow-ups because okay. um, sometimes this can change quickly and sometimes for patients it takes a long time so whenever we do four to six month follow-up sometimes you miss that period of time which is completely fine yeah um, this is still open here so my recommendation would be like to stay in the brace the full time um, that's my recommendation you should just follow the brace really slow it's really low um, do not have to follow the brace in your hair it's just that you're nearing skeletal maturity, so you don't have a ton of growth left. And a time when a scoliosis is going to progress is when you're growing rapidly. Um, you know, during a growth spurt is the riskiest time to treat you. You're past that point. So I would say again, progressing further, but just based on guidelines, the recommendation is to stay in the brace like the whole time. Okay. Um, and then hopefully next time you come in, we can like make some sort of transition. Again, I don't like to guarantee anything, so you right. don't even tell people because sometimes that doesn't happen and then you're upset. So. Right. Um, Again, we'll just kind of follow these growth plates here. Once they're close more, then we'll kind of start making that transition to night bracing or just coming out of it completely. But again, the good thing is that, you know, we recommend staying in the brace, but again, risk of progression is pretty low. Um, as far as brace, like, I would say kind of do you guys like, staying on to the next month, you know, follow-up is to space it up to like a six month follow-up instead of four. So if you- Okay, so basically, she just said that, um- You're holding. I'm holding and I'm like staying stable and I talked to her because I feel like my brace is getting too big, but she said that I'm coming to the end of like my bracing kind of, and hopefully, and so there's no really need to get like a new brace and stuff, and so that's just really good. But she said that we're coming to an end in bracing, and that's really good, but I still have to wear it like full time and not night bracing it, maybe next appointment though, she'll change it, I don't know. But yeah, she said that you just can't be too for sure on what's happening, but she said that it stayed stable and... I mean, it's decreased since I got diagnosed, and so that's good. I think the next part, I'm gonna be in the car just explaining more stuff, so. so. everything is going good so far. I'm really excited because I am going into high school without a brace, and yeah, I think overall, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be whenever I first found out I had scoliosis, and so that's just good. And like maybe in eighth grade, middle of the year, end of the year, I won't be needing my brace anymore. I'm definitely gonna keep it. Or should I burn it? I mean, or I could paint it. But I think I'm just gonna keep it. So yeah, now I'm on my way to my mother's house. Oh, and by the way, not a YouTuber. So this video is not gonna be good. I will be surprised if you actually sit through it. You're like really surprised. But all in all, this appointment was really good and I'm super thankful and happy. Oh my gosh, my glasses are glaring so much, okay. I'm super thankful and super happy that my bracing is getting better and my back is getting better. Well, it's not really getting better, it's just staying stable. So I'm really happy and yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my grandma for some food. 
Okay, so now I'm at my mom's house, and that's all. And that's all. So bye. Have a great day.